one thing about me is that I get full pretty fast and I'm hungry pretty fast as well. So though it's just post lunch, I decided to get a protein shake from Hakon. It's um, $6.90. Taking care of yourself doesn't need to cost a lot. Planner B is proud to partner with savvy fitness pros to eat better and spend better. Subscribe for more tips for a better life. Hello, my name is Bithia and I'm a fitness enthusiast, a woman in tech and also an entrepreneur. I enjoy hitting the gym, dancing, um, I enjoy other forms of uh, fitness activities such as like parkour, rock climbing too. My diet is pretty flexible but generally healthy. So things like chicken breast, vegetables, having a well-balanced diet, that's something I love. So yeah, I love bubble tea. To me, it's just tea with milk or creamer with some pulse. Yeah, and definitely when there's no sugar added, it's, it's not really sweet and it's not that bad. Yeah, it's just tapioca. Every week, I would have dance classes two or three times a week. I'll go to the gym two or three times a week as well. And I'll go to like uh, some of those fitness studios via class pass, probably about two times a week as well. We gave Betia a limit of $100 to spend on meals over three days. How did she do? For breakfast today, I'm having something very simple. It doesn't look great because my yolk broke. Uh, it's just two eggs. This costs about 57 cents. A cup of latte, which my fiancé just helped me make, is about 250ml of milk, so that's about 74 cents. I've decided on pasta for lunch. As I did not have much carbs for the morning, I'm deciding between the aglio olio and the basil pesto. Definitely with protein, so leaning towards having the salmon. About 5 p.m. now, and I'm gonna head out for a workout at around 6.30. I don't think I can have dinner now, but I'm a bit hungry, so I'll be having a snack from this shake salad vending machine. That's my yogurt. So something stupid really happened. I opened the packaging and I dropped the granola, so most of it's on the floor. So although I dropped most of the granola, this is still pretty delicious and a decent cup size, so it will keep me full till post-workout. This is 4.50. Just done with my workout, so I'll be heading over to Chinatown Point to see what there is for dinner. So nothing too heavy for dinner, just some vegetables, meat and mushrooms from Gong Yuan Mala Tang. This bowl of Mala Siang Por is 9.10. For breakfast today, I'll be having this special case, the blueberry flavor. So I'll be taking about one serving using the Meiji no fat milk. Every morning, I like to keep it simple, something that's easy to make. So this is my bowl of cereal. It's about uh, 34 cents and the milk portion here is about 60 cents. Over here for my cup of coffee, is about 250ml of milk, so that's 74 cents. And for my two eggs, these are my usuals, it's uh, 57 cents. Pretty busy with work today, so I'm back at the vending machine. So I have decided on this tuna sandwich that is true. Just heated up my sandwich with the microwave. And I'll be having it now. So I decided to just have this as a quick bite. I'll be going out later, so I'll probably have a snack later too. Keeping my dinner in a budget of $10. I'm um, having the quinoa lemak from Kipos Gourmet. So this is it, it's the quinoa lemak. It's a good portion of protein. I think it's about 150 to 80 grams. Um, the base is uh, quinoa, there's eggs, cucumber, and some almonds. So this bowl is $10 and I think it's pretty worth it. The chicken is pretty tender today, which is good because uh, the protein at many protein bowls, cafes are not very consistent. Usually it's a little dry, so this is good. Good morning! So what I have here for breakfast today is two slices of bread. So that's um, 25 cents. The egg was uh, 57 cents and my usual coffee, 74 cents. Rosemary chicken sandwich. It's one of my favorite Sodali options whenever I'm here. It's either this rosemary chicken sandwich, if not the chicken pesto sandwich. So this meal was $9. 
I picked the sourdough bread and also requested for no mayo, just personal preference. So one thing about me is that I get full pretty fast and I'm hungry pretty fast as well. So just post lunch, I decided to get a protein shake from Hakon. It's um, $6.90. This is the meal near. So it's a blend of acai, whey protein, maca, and I can't remember what else. I believe there's milk. But yeah, it's one of my favorite protein shakes. Today, I'll be having Josh Grill for dinner. I ordered the chicken chop. Um, and for side, I chose the Brussels sprouts and cold pasta. At Josh Grill, whenever you order a lean, it also comes with a complimentary bun. So here's my chicken chop. And the two sides, pretty good portion. This meal costs $11.90 plus plus, so that is $14. Having the usual bubble tea craving, so I'm here at Tian Ren Tea. I ordered the black milk tea with no sugar, pulse with less pulse, and that's $4. Um, you know, the bud knowing that there's a budget in place would remind you to be more prudent, so you're more likely to choose the cheaper options. But healthy eating and living need not be extravagant and expensive. The most, like one of the most effective one would be to like just eliminate sugar and and to adjust your taste buds to eating food that are not as flavorful and uh, are not that sweet. So that naturally when you start to take uh, food and drinks that are not as sweet, you will be taking a lot less calories. As have you wondered how a fitness influencer lives their best life? Better Way is today's fitness pro spotlight. <laughs> 